Hi guys, excuse the nasaliness. I am currently sick again. My immune system just is shot right now. I haven't been doing a video like this in months, nor have I really been talkative on my social platforms other than captions that I've put in my Instagram and Facebook as well with everything that's been going on. Uh, since my life kind of hit the fan in January officially. Um, yes, I left that current person I was not only engaged with, but also just got a house with and renovated for that person and myself and was also planning like the future shebang of things. So the whole expressiveness of that dynamic in that relationship, I'm going to save for what I can actually stream because that part of my community and having that raw footage is a lot easier for me to express myself. But I did want to give you guys a lowdown of what's going on currently before I get even more distracted and kind of burn out on my energy because I already am. So back in January on the 13th officially, I decided to leave the person that I was with because it was an extremely toxic and abusive dynamic I was in for four and a half years. That person, in the end of everything that happened, that was absolutely off the wall, what the fuck, and involved all of our friends that are obviously just my friends at this point, and my family, and that person's family, a lot of people were hurt in the process due to this individual acting very unsafe and putting not only me in danger, themselves in danger, but has physically harmed friends, put friends in harm's way, and also put all of our animals in great harm's way as well in the process of the separation. So I left January 13th, and yes, to clarify quickly, my animals are completely safe and they're actually way more healthier and way, way more in a loving condition than they've ever been. And a lot of my animals, as you guys know, they are rescues. Sorry about that, forgot to silence my phone. And I'm too fuzzy brain to redo it. You guys get the raw footage of my update, wh wherever this algorithm takes me. So all my animals are safe. Um, I'm literally moving with my current partner tomorrow morning. And it hasn't hit me at all because my direction and my view in life was just settling with what I had in life. I basically mentally checked out of that relationship after reflecting for the last few months a while ago, as most people who are survivors of this type of dynamic and abuse in the relationships tend to do is check out way before they can physically find the courage to actually leave. And it's a really sickening thought to understand that now that I was completely taken advantage as a as the AJ was at the time, freshly out of a very life-threatening situation. Like, I met this person two and a half weeks after what just happened to me, and then they just completely took advantage of me and controlled my finances. They tried controlling my social media. They tried controlling my business. I was trying to build several times. They controlled how I represented myself because they were very against my actual gender identity and sexuality when we went open about being non-monogamous it wasn't because that person actually is the type to be ethically non-monogamous they just wanted the advantage of not being caught cheating because even in my poly dynamic with that person i still got cheated on several times and there's more it's like an iceberg but i will delve into that another time with the separation, there was an invasion of my privacy. There has been textual evidence and video evidence of lies being said. There's a whole plethora of things that have been collected just in case the person stepped the wrong way. Um, we even had to do contracts as well to safely get my property out from under that person because of all the years of them trying to throw in my face that I was able to safely leave them whenever I actually decided to leave them. When I actually did, after finding like the support in my life that's been helping me with this whole situation, which is my group of friends, my what little family I have left, and my partner at the time, all of them, including everybody who's been very encouraging on social media when they do happen to find 
my things within the algorithm, um, immediately all of my property was then no longer my property. Nothing that even I got myself was mine to have. And then none of my animals were mine to have, except for my cat, Nova. I can't explain to you with words the feeling it feels to be free from that, but also very blinded. It's... I was gaslit, I, I, I was gaslit and manipulated so much into believing that I was the problem in that relationship. Therefore, any type of implication of punishment or just toxic behavior that was projected towards me and how I was being treated with like literally my life being threatened in the car with reckless driving, with withdrawal from any type of intimacy, intimacy, sorry, like any type, including being blatantly ignored, being yelled at, screamed at, the narcissist tendency flip within the moods of this person, because I can't diagnose anybody, but that was the tendencies I was getting. It was a lot, and I felt really, really trapped. Like, I felt like I could not leave no matter how much support was backing me. So it wasn't until I reconnected with our friends that he isolated me from on December 21st of last year and then hung out with them on New Year's, which turns out after everything was open and spoken because he had actually harmed a friend of ours that he was pursuing, because again, polyamory. Um, after that person did their processing, talked to their poly family, and then approached me. That's when I realized that this person and all of the promises of change and that they're not actually this type of way. And I was just imagining all of the SA that happened to me over the years because that was what was happening um, with that situation. I basically said, I, I, I'm not, I gotta go. Like, this is, this is the moment that I've been kind of like looking for to see if like, he was actually gonna change or not, and nothing changed. So I have been staying with those people for the past few months, and also with my partner on and off during the weekends, and that's why I haven't been posting, because I just didn't have a place of my own anymore. I was left with no money, I was left with no communication with my family, because everything with my phone service was cut off. Um, thank God I was helped with literally everything I've been taken care of, and I've been very, very much like loved and shown what true compassion and human decency is, which I swore up and down. That's what I was tr tr receiving in my relationship. But I was basically crediting somebody for things that I was doing. And I can get into a much deeper perspective and talk about that when I actually get to talk about everything. So I've been going through a lot of mental, mental regard, and I just wanted to throw this out there because I know it's going to be a lot to move when I wasn't expecting to move at all, and it's going to be a completely different environment, a completely different area, further away from my family, further away from my friends, which I will be actively seeing like several times a month, but it still feels too far in some aspects, but not far enough because... I did want these things at some point in my life and I was stopped. Much like a lot of things when it comes to my career and everything on social media that I wanted to pursue in the past. That's why everything's been so sporadic for years. I've been treated like some puppet and like only I could do what that person liked enough to do. I don't even know how emotionally I feel right now about the move, but I know it's going to be really good. I obviously know that everything that's been going on the last few months since leaving that person has been very positive, extremely healthy, and I have felt the safest, truthfully, honest to God, actually safe for the first time ever in my life because as any long-term followers know, I've been through a lot. So it's been a huge deep dive so far and there's so much more to go with it. But to recap this ramble, I am safe. I am just about to move. You're going to see a completely different shift in everything over time. And I hope that I can come back full swing, if not even better, as well as continue sharing my life and everything. Because she's here, look how big she got. She was just a little palm-sized baby last you guys really saw her. Look how big she is. All right, guys. We'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>